What's going on blockheads? I'm Skyline Shore and I'm playing uh, Block and Load. So yeah, we are going to be showing you how to play OP1 Shinobi as an offensive player. I think, I mean, that's really like his only role. He's really great at offense. Anyway, so the blocks that I'm going to be using is Caltrops, Large Bomb, Bricks, Bounce Pad, and uh, Shoji Speed Block. No additive bonuses there, it just looks more awesome. Okay, so uh, normally what you can do is what, I'm, what I got right now, you can replace large bomb with the normal bomb. I think it places faster, but overall I like the bigger explosion of the large bomb, and I'm fine with the countdown time. Uh, you can use fake blocks and bear traps to make some traps, but I feel like if you have a Nigel, Nigel's probably going to be doing that instead. So I think OP1 Shinobi is really good offensively, and I like these blocks because, okay, bricks, they place instantly, and you can shell yourself in. And I like caltrops because you can actually place those instantly offensively around the enemy's cube. So if they're trying to uh, attack you, you can be really squirrely, and they're going to be constantly running those over and uh, getting hurt too as well. So OP1 Shinobi, as we were starting the game here, what is his role in the very beginning? What do you do if you don't have uh, the heavy defenses or the defensive devices that, like, Cogwheel has or that Nigel has? Or even, you know, any other class, basically. Uh, well... Shinobi's really like a digger. He, he, he's mainly about mining nodes, and if you don't know what a node is, well, I'll educate you. So nodes are these, uh, these are these obvious sort of mounds or mines. Uh, you, you have to mine them out uh, from the bottom, and this game has physics, right? So if you mine out the bottom of a tree, the whole tree falls. So the same thing, if you mine out a mountain, well, the whole mountain is gonna fall down. See? Okay, so now, our job is to go and get as many blocks for our team as possible and for ourselves so that we don't have to do this any longer. <laughs> it's really important. Now these small ones, you know, whatever. I hate that cute, the, the leafs from sideways, from uh, diagonally, actually counts as well as a structure, so that's awkward. Now, the first base that I'm gonna be taking out is this one. This is gonna be a long time, guys. Uh, yeah. Normally, I mean, I would have a couple people helping me out with this, uh, but it doesn't matter. I don't need to place any blocks, so I've got nowhere to be. I'll just sit here and mine this whole castle out. You Okay, so one thing. You don't want these giant structures uh, because they're really easy to be mined through. As you see, it's just dirt. If you're going to put up a structure, build it yourself with your blocks that you know are strong. And build it in the way that you want. Because people can put in like hidden radars, they can put hidden spawn uh, beacons and stuff in, in these places. And that's not cool. You don't want that. So, it's pretty much better just to level the whole playing field and then build it back up. Now, you don't have enough time to do the entire battlefield, but there are specific places that are kind of meant to be mined out. And so, we call these nodes. Normally, they're a bit more obvious. They just kind of look like a pillar. You can take out a pillar. A lot of maps have them. And they're in normally risky positions that really only a shinobi can get to. So, that's why shinobi is also really good for this position. Now, this particular spot, I think it could be uh, well done if you just have like an Eliza or something else. Something that is defensive, but they, they're normally uh, defensive with their devices. So, they, they don't normally place big blocks because they don't even have access to the heavy blocks. Uh, so, they can do a little bit of mining with you to help you with these bigger nodes, I think. Now, yeah, this is going to take me a while. It is kind of boring too, <laughs> as well. Now, you can use bombs as well for this, too. I think it's totally fine. Shinobi doesn't need that many blocks anyway, so if I wanted to, I could use a bomb, but honestly, it's not necessary. You have enough time to mine out a lot of these. And I don't think it's always worth the block ratio, because bomb is expensive. You don't always get enough blocks back. Now, when this whole castle falls, my team's going to get a large sum of uh, points. Now, if you play with some newer players, they might freak out over you doing this. Uh, if they do, I mean, just ignore them, unless you're doing something that, uh, potentially they could use. Now, there's a lot of, a lot of structures in, um, in a couple of maps that are used to help defense, and you're supposed to build around them. You can tear them down to make it even stronger and build your own custom defense, but sometimes people will freak out if you tear those down, even though you do get a lot of blocks and you can totally replace it with stronger blocks, people freak out because, well, I don't know. It's easier to build around it than rebuild the whole thing and then expand. All right, so we, we destroyed that, but it's still connected. It's still connected to this. So we're going to destroy this one, actually, and we're going to bring down the whole castle. Yeah, teams that don't destroy this castle, I myself put lots of shrines, teleports, uh, respawn, well, respawn beacons, respawn points. I put, um, I put just lots of devices in these things because it's just, it's a lot of cover, you know? And it... Sure, it's cover for your team, I guess, if you're defending, but really not that much. You want as much open space as you can get, and shinobis want lots of crawl space. 
If you want defenses, you need to build your defenses. You need to build them up. Or else, I mean, Cogwheel is just going to come in, put a respawn beacon. He's just going to mortar your base. I mean, it's not going to work out. You need strong defenses. Mining, mining, mining makes your flippers strong. So, yep, we're just going to keep mining. Yeah, it does take a lot of your time here, but, uh, you know, Shinobi's not exactly known to be uh, placing blocks of any kind. You can place some bricks, but honestly, sandbags are stronger, and, uh, you know, you should just save your blocks for offense and for your speed boost. You can place some traps uh, preemptively, I guess. You can put cow traps around the uh, base, the cube, maybe even around the second cube or the third cube. I mean, you can do that. Sure, you have enough time. You'll have enough blocks. But for the, oh yeah, you gotta get these diagonal leaves. It's pretty freaking awkward. I don't. I I believe that should be changed. Leaves should not count as a structural block. Okay, we're almost done here, guys, and we have enough time to put our traps too. Even though nobody helped us with this particular node. Oh my god, there's going to be a diagonal leaf. Okay. Where is that diagonal leaf? It's probably that one. No, it's, it's I think it's this one, maybe. Oh my goodness. Freaking leaves, man. Are you serious? Holy shit. See, this is what I'm talking about. Oh my god. What the block am I going to do? I don't have enough time. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Holy shit. If it's these leaves, are you serious? It's going to be these leaves. So dumb. Thank you. Woo! Lots of bricks and lots of open land to shoot peoples. All right. So uh, do we got traps? We actually got a, a decent amount of traps here. So I can just kind of scatter these wherever. You know, help do some damage. Oh, I actually just destroyed those. They do destroy very fast, though. So that's one thing. But they just kind of help. They don't take any blocks. They place instantly. So you can just... Slap them. Now, what's really important is Shinobis to get their jump pads. We need our jump pads. I'm going to put a couple of them here, just like two. Should probably put some in some other places preemptively. Let's see. Whatever, this is... I'll put, I'll put one over here, maybe? Uh, they're they're kind of doing something over here, but whatever. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to do this. I'm going to jump over on this side here. I'm ready, baby. Let's go. And this is how you play Shinobi. Put a hidden shrine somewhere. Let's see, I can see all of their cool shit, which I'm going to be destroying. Oh, they, the turrets can see me from there. Sucks. Oh, look at this guy. Hello, friend. Am I going to hit you? Freaking, I guess my aim is bad or he's laggy or so. Oh, lag. The lag be real. What the crap? What the crap and a half? Okay, so, so, a little bit laggy. Now, this game is really laggy, and, uh, you know, in, in that sense, Shinobi's kind of OP, actually. Because, uh, whenever you're fighting a Shinobi, he just moves really fast. Uh, the game isn't really well optimized, so he's kind of skipping around all over the place, and he's already super fast and super ninja. So that's, it gets awkward. What? It wouldn't let me trans- oh my god. It wouldn't let me switch. All right, let's jump across again. We gotta push. We gotta put another shrine. Holy shit! Yeah, let's put it up here. Why not? All right, we can't use it. Right? Oh, it's sniped! Yeah. Uh, one thing as a shinobi, she probably should not be standing still. I didn't know that sniper was standing there still. Um, but they don't have a lot of defense on their first cube. They kind of spent a lot on their second cube. So, oh, that's an interesting strategy. It really is. Now we just need our offense to well. Offense. <laughs> they need to. They need to actually get out there. Problem with Shinobi is that he doesn't have any explosives unless you actually get close with the mines. So you know it's awkward. He gets awkward. You need people with explosions like a cogwheel, Sarge. That works out well. Okay, so they're they're kind of they're getting there. They're getting there. Let's try to destroy this. Forget that. Do damage to this guy. He could have just killed me probably. Okay, he just, like, killed himself. Now, the sniper wants to uh, kill me. Oh, snap. Your body is bigger than your camera. So, even though it seemed like I, I wasn't going to be seen by that guy, I totally was. Let's jump up here. Oh, I hit a mine. So, that's tragedy. Oh, I couldn't jump up. 
Yeah, so most of the time as Shinobi, if your team isn't directly offensive with you, you're going to be dying a lot. Uh, so one thing that you can do before your, your offense is in tandem with you, you can just kind of run around and be a midfielder. You can just kind of just go around and kill people. Help your team get the explosions where they need to be. Or you can try to do it. You can just play the objective, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to try to dig under the cube, and I'm going to place one of these bams. So let's be, uh, let's be a little bit sneaky sneaky. You can also break this bridge for lots of uh, points. Lots of points. Oh, hello, friend. There's lots of range on the sword. I think it should be nerfed. It's pretty strong. Alternatively, you can swing and then switch to your shurikens. So, you know, that's a thing. Let's see what we got here. I still got my shrine up there. I just didn't want to use it. Now, I want to go down. So, I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'm going to go... I'm going to dig through. Digging, digging, digging. Oh, uh, you know, I really... I actually don't want people to follow me, so... I want this to work. Luckily, we can see where the cube is. So, we're just going to dig under it. Oh, yes. Perfect. If we can get some bombs underneath the uh, turrets, that'd be great. Also, if you destroy the cube that the turrets are on, the whole turret is destroyed. But I think it's going to be on Mechiel. Might be. It wasn't. So that's good. I think I just blew that up. Noise. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and put a, a bomb. A nice big ass bomb right there. Oh, yeah, baby. And this is what I do. So I'm just going to go underneath because it looks like they don't have any radars, which is a freaking tragedy. And I'm just going to be placing these bombs. And we're going to make it go boom, guys. Big boom. Oh, baby! Oh, God. Oh, baby! We got this. But they do have defenses on their second cube, so... Now, bombs take a lot of, a lot of cubes, so remember that. I don't even know if I need this, but we'll find out. Nope, don't need it. All right, let's get out of here. Good job. Let's go to this next one. Let's start digging under it. Right here is good. Oh, guys, you can jump while crouching as well. So you can uh, get into those tight little spots. Makes it a little bit awkward for people to follow you. All right. So we need to place a bomb right here. This should be good. This should hollow it out around it. And we need to dig around real fast before that bomb explodes and kills us. <laughs> also, one thing that you can do is place a bomb and then F. And you actually leave a bomb whenever you use your special ability. So you can do it with some extra damage. There we go. Put another bomb here. And that just exploded. Didn't do too much damage to the cube, if any. But uh, it is going to do damage to the surrounding parts of the cube. All right. Just trying to get the surrounding destroyed because they do have a uh, pretty good defense. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. Yeah, that Sarge really should be placing radars. Oh shit, that's my old. Oh. That's a bomb. No. Okay. But yeah, he killed me with that bomb. I killed somebody with my bomb though, so that's good. Yeah, as you can see, the cube is definitely uh, exposed now. As well, I killed somebody. So bombs are strong. The big bombs, really strong. You just got to be good with them. All right, so I'm going to use my ability. Oh, no, I think my ability got destroyed. Okay, they destroyed my uh, shrine. Or maybe I... Yeah, yeah, they did. So let's go ahead and uh, jump Aroni over here. Let's go to the side then. I'm actually going to put a shrine. I'm going to put a shrine above their uh, first base. Their final base. Let's go up here. So, ooh, I want to go up here, though. Let's get in here, actually. We got we got a good offense. We got a good offense, and that's good. That's good. I want to show you guys uh, what a shinobi can do. All right, so we're in the top here. Sweet. Get my shrine here. Keep my shrine there. Now, if I want to, I can even. Put this here, with this here, and I can uh, just kind of, woo! And we, we destroyed it, so we didn't even need to do anything there. So, that was cute. Real cute. I'll, I'll put this here for whoever wants to do that, if I don't die. It'd be great if I didn't die. 
No, he's killing me. I'll just place those everywhere. <laughs> he actually knifed me. Um, so yeah, he followed me because of the jump pad. I thought my cogwheel's right behind me. So, that, that, I mean, that's my mistake. No, let's see, do we have any respawn points? Cogwheel, did you put any respawns? We don't have any radars either, but look, oh, wait. Enemy trying to take out our cube, won't matter. Woo! Oh, I didn't place it? My bad. Now, one thing that you want to do is house yourself in. You want to house yourself in. So you want to place blocks. And make it hard for them to uh, kill you. I'm doing this like super slow though. Like super freaking slow. There. Now it's going to be harder to kill me. Even though they can kind of see me through there, I think. Whatever. I'm going to get some damage down. So this is one tactic. This is a reason why you don't want to totally enclose your cube. Because it's much, much easier. Oh, what the fuck? What are you doing, dude? Except for when teammates try to freaking uh, <laughs> reveal your location. But yeah, if the cube is completely surrounded, it's actually really easy to dig in and then surround yourself. So you want to prevent that as much as possible. The breach is under attack. They killed my shine, apparently. It looks like we're going to win here. We just had a really good offense, really strong combination of explosions and ninjiness. So it's really good. So if you have a shinobi, you do need somebody on offense that does have explosions. Or else you're, you're going to never get through the turrets. You're never going to get through the defenses unless they're bad. So if you do have a shinobi, you need somebody with explosion, uh, explosions in tandem. You know, to take out radars and such. Cool, we did it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you got some tips and tricks from uh, playing that, seeing that, seeing that. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.